And then the other question we had that we tried to ask the commission, they weren't clear about, this five pound rule, is that universal here in New York per weight class? Yeah, I, don't, I don't have the answer for you. I have, you have to ask them, but I'm, I'm happy to follow up for you. I don't okay. have the answer. Okay. Okay. Um, Jacques Rizzi, if he, he had an agreement with uh, Taylor Rizzi. He didn't make 186. Yeah, once we knew that fight was on weight or whatever, he was, he was he stopped cutting. Um, is Rashad getting paid? Uh, Rashad's being rebooked. Both of those guys got their show. You got Rashad and Tim. But Tim had to make weight. I'm sorry? Until or Rashad? Yes, that's it. Until okay. six. Rashad did not have to make weight, but Tim did. Tim did, yes, because Tim was also, uh, if there was an injury to another fight, he was going to be ready. Uh, no. uh, the reason behind that is that was specific to the Weidman and Vera fight uh, because Josh Ray and Kennedy were in fun. It just wasn't something that made sense about 206. So is somebody potentially injured in that fight then? Do you believe that? No, no, no. It was, it was the magnitude of this card. We just wanted to be prepared in the event. God forbid something happened. Right. But there was no, you had an idea that somebody was hurt. Uh, 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 73, 173. Well, so what is why, why that? That was an agreed upon stipulation backstage between Jim, our matchmakers, and Tiago. But not to much of the process again. I understand your point. That's a better question for Jeff and Nitsky. I'm not an expert on weight management, but I can tell you that in order for this fight to go forward, Jim had some concerns with Tiago um, getting any higher than that weight. Will Cerrone or Sean Gray have to go to public way later today? As of right now. Uh, it was, Miller bulked up in time. Yeah, it was earlier this morning. I think one of the challenges was, you know, Cerrone waited pretty quickly, um, and rightfully so. He was off base. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a few hours before that we, we knew he was struggling, about an hour. Before. And uh, I think, it, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at some of these protocols as far as the early weigh-ins. It's, it's still relatively new to us. And, um, while it's by and large been very, very successful, I think uh, there's always ways for us to enhance this process for the, for the health and safety of the athletes. Who will the Sixers be starting in shooting guard? Uh, tonight, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> so if uh, Donald knew that, he was going to be coming in that five point potential power range. Potential. 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 They, what was the catch weight? 160. I'm sorry, for the Amish? Uh, 163. 163. Yeah, no, no, that, that fight was never, there was never a doubt about that fight. We just, with the magnitude of this card, we wanted to make sure, God forbid, something happened that we had a suitable replacement. And remember, Chocolate was supposed to fight two weeks from now, but then when Rocco got hurt, so it just made sense. So I know you, you said this, but Holiday, Catchweight is 163. 163. This kind of 170. Right. 173. 170. 170. 170. Yeah. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Based on when he fights and they back up a certain amount of time. If I can get you that, I will. But it's usually within a couple of hours of the fight. Any change from We're working on the bout order now. We're working on the bout six fights That's what we're trying. With three title fights, we have the ability to either go five fights or four continues. Didn't even get to shave this morning.